Nobody else but for y'all. I did not have her record that. And I normally don't record at all, and she's managed to catch the last few, so I'm like, you know what, I don't care. But I always try to make it personal. This is what I got, New Warriors, staying at midnight. So let's start probably like Marcus did, being obedient to the man of God. Anytime you teach after the man of God, all you do is teach on what the man of God taught on. Right. You don't get into your own thing. Right. You don't. You teach on what the man of God taught on. And I have always done that. So let's go to Luke 17, 11, 18. Okay, may make on and read the whole thing. And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers. Okay, the first thing you need to notice is that he entered into a certain village. So even when it comes to God, there is place, see, place, <laughs> plan, provision, okay? Soon, Kenny, when you went to your interview, soon as there was God's presence, there was place, plan, provision. But are you going to be there to meet him there? You were at your interview. You could have been late. Y'all are sitting in your seats right now. You could have been late. You could have missed these young ladies who I've seen coming on a regular basis. What's y'all's name? Tell me y'all's name. Don't be shy. You weren't shy that Negro. What's your name? Huh? What'd she say? Say it loud. Okay, Renasia. Lanasia. That's why you gotta say it loud. I'm older. You can say it loud. And what's your name, young lady? Huh? Huh? Say it. Let me hear y'all. Jakia. Jakia. Can y'all remember that? Did somebody write that down? Write down those two names. Look, they embarrassed. What the heck? Because y'all are important. I've been seeing y'all on a regular basis. A little more regular than some of the people who are supposed to be here. That's going to be a blessing for y'all. Get it? That's what we're teaching on. Place, plan, provision. You're sitting here to hear this. To hear this. This is for you. Can't nobody take it away from you. As long as y'all grasp it. You have to grasp it. So there's Jesus. Jesus came here today, tonight, and if I wouldn't have made it, I would not have been in place, plan, provision. If I'd have let all this stuff that was happening mess with me, let alone the stuff I haven't talked about, over a year's worth of depression, over a year's worth, you talk about Mary FaceTime, go ahead, May. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers. Place, plan, provision. Ten of them, right where they were supposed to be. Go ahead. Which stood afar off. We learned why. Why did they stand afar off? Full of leprosy. Go ahead, May May. And they lifted up their voices and said... Ooh, wait a minute. God just gave me something. Do y'all know that y'all could have had God sooner than you did? But because of sin, that was your leprosy, and you stood so far off, Mary, that you couldn't even hear God. And you have a danger of still, I do too, falling into sin. And write this down. Sin doesn't just kill you. It keeps you away from the sanctuary. Some of y'all know. Some of y'all that have left and come back, the whole reason why you stayed away was because of sin and you was too embarrassed to come back. And you figured everybody knew it, but everybody here was so busy trying to make sure they 
don't fall into the same trap that you fell in. And Sister Barlow, especially me, I got to watch for that morning. You're the bishop. More than anything. Because the devil don't want no baby falls. The devil wants giant falls. The kind of falls where the giant trees, Mary, fall in the forest. And you, what the heck was that? Those are falls he wants. He wants our man of God. He wants our woman of God because he knows through her he can take. It's happened. There's married couples here if they can be honest. Keith and Lisa, as loving as they are, I guarantee you there was a time in their lives that one or the other wanted to co-cock the other one. I guarantee you. If they're honest, they'll tell you. They'll teach on it. Am I right, y'all? They see? <laughs> Lisa was a little slower, but Keith, you right. You right. I dare say... If some of y'all think of, my marriage with Crystal was so great, I completely forgot I was married one time before. Completely. That's how I got icy. I completely forgot. Compl that's how good it was. God can, write this down, God can bless you so good, my neek. So good. That you literally forget every bad thing that happened to you before. Everything. You won't even remember it. Place, plan, provision. I'm going to tell you all how much, and it may not seem like sin, I used to put haagen Icy, DJN, all kinds of stuff before God. And when you put those things before God, it's your God. So y'all think of your favorite food. You should not even be thinking of your favorite food more than you think of God. You shouldn't. I had to get all that stuff in order. Saw so Wonder Woman today. I'm so much into God, it ain't funny. So I can hear about, when I was young, I used to study mythology and all that kind of stuff, or read about it. Never believed it. That's the reason why they call it mythology. So it's about Zeus and all this kind of stuff. Didn't bother me in the least. You had to be able to take whatever you're watching, all that kind of stuff. Didn't bother me in the least. But that kind of stuff messed with me so much when I was young, before I was even, when I was, let's see, who's young in here? How old is she? Candace, how old is she? Six. Who's eight? Jackson's nine. When I was a little bit younger than Jackson, this is how much I was into superheroes and mythology and all that kind of stuff. I knew. I ain't think about, Jackson ain't think about getting married. I don't think. Check, Marcus. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew what the name of my son and my daughter was going to be. When I was eight years old, Mary, I knew. My daughter's name was going to be Icy, because my favorite thing was Icy. And I figured she'd be just as sweet. <laughs> my son's name was going to be, y'all ready for this? Prometheus. <laughs> God. She said, who is that? Who knows who Prometheus is? Prometheus. He's a mythology character. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember as much now, but I believe Prometheus was like a son or something of Zeus. He was the god of fire. Boom, 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 boom. Fire. All right, y'all walk and talk. Really set you off to a full of lunch, child. Yes, it does. The way you squeeze. Tease, knocks me to my knees, and you smoking my mom. I don't know what happened then, but he was a god of fire, and Zeus was pissed because he gave fire to man. So for punishment, I believe he chained him to a mountain, and buzzards was eating his gut out. Continue. I'm about to name my doggone son. <laughs> Now, my son would have been pissed not because of that, because he wouldn't have known when he was young. He'd have been pissed because he'd be like, Dad, I can't spell no Prometheus. <laughs> so
some of y'all went through some horrible things in your childhood. Horrible. Horrible. I'm same age as a bishop. And I st I'm still affected, Keith, by my childhood. By my childhood. But thank God I had a... a I had, we, me and my brothers and sisters were beat most of our lives. Had a mother that abandoned, completely abandoned six of us at a young age. Um, a father that called me a dumb age so much, Kenny, that I believed it. That I believed it. But the Bible says something about when your mother and father forsake you, then the Lord will take you up. And when the Lord took me up. He took me from a fall so that I could fall. Go on and read, Mamie. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. That's probably part of what Marcus talked about. Their obedience did what? Made them. It blessed them. Write that down. Their obedience blessed them. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Simona, it's good to see Sweetheart taking notes over here. I guess both of them are. But that's good to see. Unfortunately, Simona, you and your kids missed my hike and die story. <laughs> Go ahead. And one of them, mm. when he saw that he was healed, -wee. turned back. My God. And with a loud voice. Loud. Glorified God. Glorified God. And fell down on his face. On his face. Where? At his feet. At his feet doing what? Giving him thanks. And he was a what? A Samaritan. Samaritan back in those days. Let's see. I believe my thing says something about that. Yeah. No about a Samaritan. Mm -hmm. They were not looked upon real good at all. Mm -mm. At all. So on top of having leprosy, he was dogged by everybody because he was Samaritan. But he didn't let none of that hold him back from coming back and giving God some of those seven things. What the bishop was talking about? Glory. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What was those things called, Marcus? The seven laws of the Yep. Yep. Sevenfold praise. It's the sevenfold praise. Write that down. Sevenfold praise. Blessing. This was in Revelation 7 and 9. Glory. Wisdom. He was wise to come back. Thanksgiving. Honor. Power. When you adhere to God's power, you will see power and might. They all know, the new words know my favorite scripture. The Lord is my strength when? And we're going to have trouble all the time. All the time. Go ahead, man. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, mm. save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Highlight that, y'all. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Faith comes how? By hearing. And how? By hearing who? How can you hear? Let you be and how can you hear a preacher accept that? He be sent. Jesus was sent to this city. He went there. These men were in the right place. They were there. 
All of them were obedient when he said go, and they got healed. But only one came back. Only one. Look at this last one. Thy faith has made thee whole. That means the other nine were healed, but guess what? They were not whole, Keith. This was the only one that was made whole because his faith, when he saw how blessed he was, when you look at Lisa alive in the morning, this, this morning coming up, I want you to hug the snot out of her and say, KT don't have his, but I got mine. This is for KT and Chris. That's what I want you to do. All right. Now. That's what I want you to do. Yes, yes. Lisa, be prepared. Yes. Be dressed for it. Be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> because of your obedience, you have come to the place where you can hear from God tonight. And most of y'all knew that the bishop was not going to be here. But some of us have been healed. But because you decided to come on a Wednesday night, Marcus, you're not just healed. Tonight, all of you are about to be made whole. Whole. Because of your faith. Because of the word you were obedient and came to receive. And you didn't have to. And you might, so you might have something in your body right now that's disappearing. Completely disappearing. Gone. It could be depression. It could be pain. It could be cancer. It could be lupus. I don't care what the heck it is. You are being made whole because of your young lady's obedience. Because of your obedience. This little child sitting there, she don't even, that's faith right there. She don't even know what she's clapping for. Place, plan, provision. Y'all are hearing a word that's going to make you whole. But realize, if you look at all of this, write this down. One, there had to be God's presence. One, God's presence. And when you finish, this will be important to put on the board, Tina. I love Tina so much. Um, Crystal will be Crystal. What's the way she's taking over that science fair? I know Crystal has to be rejoicing in heaven because yes. she ain't just doing it. She's doing it with style, grace, purpose. She got the three sons. Her husband isn't here, and yet she's obedient to her post. We're going to learn about that. There's some people here who aren't here. I wish they would have been here because I wanted to help them, my niece, because you have a post. Now, whether you know it or not, right up there. And if you're not up there, we know something's wrong. Right. Anybody who does not have a post, you have to find your post. These two are always on their post. Mm -hmm. Mom's not on her post because of illness. There's always something trying to take you out. Write this down. You're going to fall one way or another. One way or another. I pray for mom all the time and call her as often as I can. That's, that's got to be crazy, but we all make our choices and stuff. And I know I got mother over there. I'm so proud of Mother Bush. Amen. I got to give her props. Yeah. We need to give her props. Come on. Yeah. We don't need to wait for no special thing or nothing, we need to go on and give her a prop. All these mothers here, but especially this one. Especially this one. Because she doing something that's very, very hard. But she obviously has sat in here all this time and learned if it's hard. Just the fact when I see her walking here, I'm almost in tears. Yes, Jesus. I'm like, now that's strength. Yes. 
That's strength. And I'm sure she comes here because God's presence is here. Amen. That's part of her healing. That's, right. That's part of her moving forward. That's part of all our encouragement. God's presence. FaceTime. Yep. FaceTime. This is from me, Sidonia, May May. FaceTime. Blessing. God's presence. FaceTime. Blessing, Simona. And instruction. That's where a lot of people fail. And instruction. My class have learned that when God first spoke to Adam and Eve, what did he do? He gave a commandment. He gave instruction. That's how God always works. God does not praise you. We praise him. But we praise him, Keith, by being obedient to instruction. Because whatever God, sweetheart, tells you is always instruction. God never tells you, don't go to church on Sunday. No. <laughs> You're too tired. I'll understand. <laughs> God didn't tell you, but somebody was telling you don't come tonight. Mm -hmm. And now look. Look at what you're getting. You're about to be made whole. So never forget, when God speaks, there's always instruction. Write this down and turn to it. Genesis 17, 1 through 9. We're going to roll. We're going to roll. In New Orleans, this is just from me being obedient. I'm going to keep an eye on the time because he fed, he fed me so much I should have choked. <laughs> he fed me so much. I needed some Holy Ghost water flowing out of my belly. Everybody who has it, say word. Word. Anybody still looking, say still looking. It's in the beginning of the Bible. <laughs> Okay, May May. And when Abram was 90 years old and nine. How old is the bishop? 61. I'm 61. I came here in the service. Matter of fact, y'all may as well know. I signed up, I was in art college, and I wanted to draw comics. That's why I'm so much into comics. And I was in college for two years and I borrowed $18,000. Now, 1974, well today $18,000 is a lot of money. I'm like, Simona, how the heck am I gonna pay this off? I swore I'd never join the service, military. My father was in it, and because of how he treated us, I just was never going to do it. But I had to pay off $18,000. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to finish and everything. Plus, I was a jacked up man, and I had broke somebody's heart, so she broke my heart, and I think a little retaliation, well, I'll join the service, and she'll probably miss me. There was a whole bunch of stupid, we do stupid stuff. <laughs> we made some stupid choices. We do stupid stuff. I signed up guaranteed photography because that was the closest thing to art. I was in the third best art college in the world, Cleveland Institute of Art in Cleveland, Ohio. And that's why I ended up borrowing all that money. Drawing, boy, I'm ready to, I'm ready to flow. And... They guaranteed me photography and I signed the paper. Marcus, what I do that for? Went in tech school and everything, they put me in pharmacy. Oh my God. Y'all remember that? If you plan on joining the service, you just gonna end up where you gonna end up. But despite all that, it was place, plan, provision because God, but I didn't know, I didn't know God. They put me in pharmacy, I hated pharmacy. I did pharmacy for like almost 10 years. The bishop was in the service for Ten years. I could 
could sign up for any base I want, eight bases, and I put eight bases. You've heard the bishop talk about him doing the same kind of thing and everything. In tech school, while I'm learning to be a pharmacy technician, I would go in, and I liked adventure, superheroes, um, action, westerns. I would go in, and the whole class would be, and I'd be, hey, and they all turn around, I'd be like, Draw, Mahari. I was like, Mahari is a new warrior. I'm like, draw. And they would all, draw. and I would shoot them all dead. <laughs> I was that fast. <laughs> I was quick. I would shoot them all dead. I would shoot so fast, they'd all act like they was dead. they like, dang. And the girls, because I was really, really, I'm still cute, but I was really, really had it going on then. They said, KT, you act just like a kid, and you think you're so tough. <laughs> so they called me Kid Tough. And later on, it turned into KT. Oh, you figured it out. Yeah, <laughs> turned into KT. That's how KT got started. We got all our orders, Marcus. Everybody was all excited, and I looked at mine, and it said, Omaha, Nebraska. Now, when I was young, there was a show on TV called Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Right. And all they ever showed was alligators and elephants. It was, what's the dude who died? Irwin? Steve, Steve, Steve Irwin. It was like his show. There was an older guy. I forgot the dude's name. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure was. And so I heard Omaha. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to a place with alligators. <laughs> I'll never forget. Sister Barlow, when the bus came, we passed in Bellevue a store called Piggly Wiggly. Right. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, where am I at? I turned on the TV and they talked about this stuff called Loris Band. Right. Which was some kind of fertilizer. That's right. all I kept seeing. I'm like, where the heck am I at? Right. <laughs> Who knew? I'm exactly about six months. My birthday is August the 6th. The bishop's is January the 15th. Right behind the bishop. Went through the stuff I went through, which I haven't talked about. Mirrors some of the stuff he picked. Never knew I would end up. Place, plan, provision. Yes. Never knew. Right. Especially Kenny never knew. I will be sitting here talking to y'all on this day, especially still doing it after everything I've been through and everything I still go through. Thank you, Jesus. Because I can't even imagine her not being there. Come on. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, Mei Mei. And when Abram was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. I know that's right. Walk before me. Walk before me. Go ahead. And be thou perfect. Ooh, that's hard to do, y'all. Go ahead. And I will make my covenant. Covenant. Ooh, God. Ooh, y'all want that. Highlight that. That's what y'all want. Go ahead. Between me and thee. First and foremost. Keep on, you can keep on. And will multiply thee exceedingly. Oh my God, that means Abram. And Abram fell on his face. Look at that, look at that. What did he do? He fell on his face. He fell on his face, why? And God talked with him. Wait, 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 I'm asking them why, why? Huh? 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 Why? I must not hear what I want to hear. Huh? Huh? Why? 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 Keep on guessing. Why, Michelle? You know it. Why? Did she write it down? What's the first thing? When you're really in God's presence, I mean. He revered. Some of y'all been there. I mean, really in God's presence. God's presence can even be your great need for God's presence. 
Because your great need for God's presence, young people, will put your face just the need, let alone his presence, just the need for it. Because write this down, the need for God's presence is the exact beginning of God's presence. So Abram ain't stupid. He's in God's presence. Go ahead. Start with three. Abram fell on his face. I bet he did. And God talked with him. Continue to talk with him. Say, his presence. Go ahead. Saying, as for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, mm. and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Oh, my God. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram. I'm going to change your name. Your name ain't Keith no more. Go ahead. But thy name shall be Abraham. Your name ain't Keith. Your name is HG. Your name ain't Keith. Your name is KT. Go ahead. For a father of many nations have I made thee. Many nations, Keith. You think you're just a father to your sons. Come on. To your sons. Yes. Which is very important. Mm -hmm. But your sons have not always listened to you. But you have other sons. You have Day Day, you yes. have who have listened to you. Yes. They can sense when God's presence is in you. Lord forbid you tell Day Day, you know, it's okay to swallow that Heineken, it's okay to walk out on. They wouldn't even listen to you. They wouldn't listen to the father of many nations. They wouldn't listen to HG. If you did not have, if y'all did not have in you the presence of God, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you don't have the presence of God. That don't mean you can't. You have to keep being obedient, but you have to have because God knows his spirit by his spirit. It has to be in you. Even us who have it, we must be refilled. Because pride will not let us know that we're low. Go ahead, man. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful... And I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. Jeez. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee, in their generations. In their generations, write this down. I'm not here just to bless me. Write it. I'm not here just to bless me. I see y'all talking to each other. I got eyes. <laughs> Are one of y'all taking notes? Mm -hmm. If not, I want y'all to get to the point where you're taking notes. Okay? Be obedient and it will bless you. You need me to get you a notebook, I'll get you one. You're here to bless generations. You're not here just for you. Simona's not here just for her. She cares about her kids so much. As do I. As did Crystal. I would come home. And they be laid out on my couch. Now I come home, I'm tired. I think I'm going to walk around the corner. And there they are. And she is so bouncy and energetic. KT, KT, and she come, hey KT, and she bump, I'm about to fall over, I'm so, I'm so tired, but that would give me a little, but I didn't, have, hey, what you doing? I, would, I had to be KT, you know what I'm saying? But she with that little energy, but she was always chill. <laughs> Hi, Mr. KT. She, she was always just chill and laid back, 
What you got to eat? <laughs> or Jackson would be there. Yep. Jackson would be there. And Jackson would give me five. Jackson, I could tell Jackson anything and he would. That must be Marcus and Coco. And he would, Jackson, there was always some child in the house. <laughs> if there wasn't adults, um, Michelle would be over there sometimes. Tita's been over there. Um, Star would be over. I would come in, there was always sometimes somebody over there when I was tired. <laughs> but it was a joy seeing everybody there. Go ahead. And thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. That's why you're here. That's why you need God's presence, FaceTime, the blessing, the instruction is to bless my generations. To bless my generations. That's what you're here for. It's not just for you. It's for the baby that just came out of her. It's for the children that are on the way. Prepared ahead of time so that everything is ready. Because of your FaceTime. Your kids are going to know God's presence. They're going to know God's presence through you. That's right. Because you didn't do all the things that you could have did, Simona. You didn't. And those kids have been through. They lost their dad. Was it both of them dead? They lost their dad. Lost their dad. Here in the sanctuary. But if it wasn't for God's presence in her life, what would they have to cling to? And yet they're being taught to have their own. To have their own. Candace, your daughter. If she pays, but you got to have it first. You got that child's been through. How do I know? I don't even know you that well. Because you've been through. Because you've been through. I don't know whose parents they have. I don't know who's their parents. But I guarantee you they've been through. They wouldn't be sitting here. The whole reason why we're all here seeking God's presence is because we've been through. Amen. Yes, sir. Yep. So we see the same thing. God's presence, FaceTime, blessing. And what he ended up doing? He ended up getting instruction. Write this down and turn to it. Before you do that, write this down. One way or another, we all shall fall. But will it be with or without God? I'm here to tell you all the truth. Let's look at the other end. Proverbs 29 and 23. When you finish writing, write that down, then turn to it. Write it down first. I've taught you all that, even with the bishop. Ebony told me, Ebony said, KT, I remember you told me, write it down first. So you don't forget it, and you don't end up asking again. And then turn to it. Proverbs 29 and 23. A man's pride. Wait, wait, wait. Let them get it. I don't even have it yet, so. But you got that. Um, see, you got the thing. I'm still old school, Mei Mei. That's <laughs> okay. She can go boop, boop. I heard that little thing over there. Boop, and she go right to it. <laughs> Everybody who has to say word. Word. Anybody still looking? Say still looking. Go ahead, Mei. A man's pride shall bring him low. Shall bring him what? Low. Write this down to his face. Your pride will bring you to your face. Your face. But honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. 
Most people know this, but write it down and turn to it. Proverbs 16 and 18. Everybody who has it, say word. word. Anybody still looking? Say still looking. Sixteen and eighteen. Go ahead. Pride goeth before destruction. Before what? Destruction. Destruction and what? And an haughty spirit. Before a fall. Before a what? A fall. A fall right on your face. Right on your face. That's pride. That's pride. Write this down and turn to it. Isaiah chapter 2. 11 and 12. Write it down first. Isaiah chapter 2. 11 and 12. I hope y'all are asking God for revelation. Because he sure fed my mind last night. I'm like, dang. Everybody who has it, say word. Anybody still looking? Don't be shy. Say still looking. That's cool because I'm looking too. I have a brand new Bible and my pages are still kind of fresh. When you hear it, say word. Okay, go ahead, May May. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled. Ah, anybody who looks down on anybody in a sanctuary, you in trouble. You are automatically in trouble. These young ladies who I keep talking to, if any of y'all look down on them, you're in trouble. Write this down. I will never forget how I came in here. You weren't paying attention either when you first came in here. Remember all them stumbles you made in your first year? I'm sorry, your first three years? I'm sorry, your first five years? I'm sorry, your... <laughs> Your first 20 years? <laughs> Go ahead, May. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of man shall be bowed down. Shall be what? Bowed down. On your freaking face. Go ahead. And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Look at this. Your failing God and falling down, it still exalts who? God. Lord. It exalts God. So you're going to be on your face, Keith, one way or the other. God's going to be exalted no matter what. Right. So you can talk about the bishop. You can talk about Grace. You can talk about Simona. You can talk about Essence. You can talk about Sister Barlow. You can talk about Pretty Girl. You can talk about, but you falling on your face. And God is still going to be exalted because of her because of essence, because of her, because of you. God is still going to be exalted despite them, Keith, falling on their face because all of a sudden Jesus ain't Lord anymore. And the place that fed them, they hate. The place where God sent them and they cut off plan and provision. Cut it right off. But we can do the same thing. I could go to work tomorrow, get upset, do some. Cr Three people just got killed in Greenville, Texas in a dealership. Right. Mm -hmm. It's on the news. Look it up. Yep. In a dealership. One dude was there with the girl turning in the car. Two bounty hunters came to talk to him. Dude pulled out a gun. Bounty hunters pulled out their gun. His gun went out. All of them reached. And all three of them. Chill. And all the salespeople hauling booty. 
How you? It's on the news. You can see it. It's the video. The dude doing the video. All of a sudden, the video was like 20 shots. 20 shots. That could happen to me. No. That could happen to you. You don't have to have cancer. You can go to work tomorrow and you can be driving. She'll tell you. Thank God for FaceTime. Amen. Go ahead, Mimi. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty and upon everyone that is lifted up Ooh. and he shall be brought Look low. at that. Oh my goodness. The day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that's proud, full of pride and lofty and think they the stuff and upon everyone that is lifted up and shall be brought what? Low. FaceTime. FaceTime. Write this down. Obadiah. Chapter 1. You know God was leading, leading me. Because I don't go to Obadiah too much. I had to be reminded. Where the heck is Obadiah? Obadiah 1, 3 and 4. It's towards the end of the Bible. And I'm a very honest person. I know because Simone, I made sure I got a Bible with tabs in it. <laughs> Obadiah 1. Everybody who has it, say word. Word. Anybody still looking? Say still looking. Don't be shy. If you get it, when you get it, say word. Go ahead, May May. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. You know what? We'll start with, um, I forgot when I studied this, he took me even before. Start with one. The vision of Obadiah. Thus said the Lord God concerning Edom. So first, he received a vision, which means what? Presence of God. Go ahead. We have heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Mm. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. You dwell in the clefts of the rock. You are high. Go ahead. Whose habitation is high. Told you. That saith in his heart. What they say in their heart. Who shall bring me down? Who shall bring me down to the ground? Shake your body down to the ground. Let's dance. Let's shout. Shout. Shake your body down. <laughs> Come on, Keith. <laughs> down. To the ground. Go ahead. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Ooh, ooh, what's that scripture about being on the wings of eagles? It's real bad when you think you're on the wings of eagles, Marcus. And you actually on the wing of an ant. <laughs> But if you think you're on the wings of an eagle, you're going to have a whole lot further to what? Fall. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, this will I bring thee down, said the Lord. I'm going to give you just one more scripture because I'm not keeping an eye on the time. What time is it? 8.16. Oh, that's good. That's good. But don't worry. I ain't going to go long. Let's go to my... I, I, let's write down Daniel chapter 4. Daniel 
30 to 37. Daniel chapter 4, 30 to 37. Write it down and turn to it. We're going to get out here early tonight. So get your money ready. Daniel chapter 4. 30 through 37. Everybody who has it, say word. Anybody still looking, say still looking. See, y'all lucky y'all have me. Bishop be like, go, and then he be gone. And y'all y'all know how it is. And you be wanting to say, hold on, wait a minute. Go ahead, Mamie. The king spake and said, is not this great Babylon that I have built for, my, for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty. You know what? I want to read this. Thanks, May. Let's start with 28. All this came upon King Nebuchadnezzar. I want you to know what he's talking about. At the end of 12 months, he walked in the palace of the kingdom of Babylon. And him being the king who walked in that big old palace said, is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power? Sound like somebody president, don't it? Uh -huh. And for the honor <laughs> of my majesty. Uh -huh. <laughs> While the word was in the king's mouth. Here comes the presence of God, y'all. Let's give Data and his wife a hand. Good to see them. We said a prayer for y'all, so. There fell a voice from heaven. What is that? What is that? What is that? The presence of God. The presence of God. A voice from heaven. If you hear a voice from heaven right now, what is it? It's God's presence. Period. If you hear a voice from God in your car. If you hear a voice from God... But the most places you're going to hear a voice from God is where? The sanctuary. God's word. Because if somebody comes up to you and tells you that God told them something about you and God didn't tell you nothing, <laughs> that's one of those people who's about to have a fall. They about to have some face time too. They about to shake their body down to the ground. <laughs> All right. So here comes the voice. Where am I at? 31. 31. While the word was still in the dude's mouth, God decided to bring some out of his mouth. O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken. Your kingdom is gone. It's departed from you. And they shall drive you from men. And your dwelling shall be the beasts of the field. And they shall make you to eat grass as oxen. And seven times shall pass over thee until thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of man and give it to whoever the heck he will. So I guarantee you somebody or something is trying to make Mynique angry. I've had a discussion with Mynique before. How many of y'all get angry? Raise your hand. But this woman, she know her stuff. She know what to do. I know for a fact she could be in jail right now instead of sitting in this seat. But my niece is the sweetest thing on the planet. She be praying, you watch her, and she run to people, and she get this, she's crying, and she and she brings them up, and she walks up and down. The same my niece. And don't just look at my niece. Think about yourself. 
could literally kill somebody. Am I wrong? Easy. Sin is easy. I taught you all that. Young people screwing somebody is easy. It's easy. It's real easy. And you think it's all that, but it don't it don't last. And you end up getting something. Even if it's they spirit on the inside of you, they evil spirit on the inside. And you let it in. Because it was easy. It was easy. This man could be at another church. It almost happened. Easy. And all the blessings that had come afterwards, he'd have had some FaceTime, but it wouldn't have been, I'm trying to tell y'all, you're going to fall one way or another. God's going to get his FaceTime one way or another. Candace, you could have not been here. Could have not been here. And what it takes is your relationship with God, not hers. She could only take you so far. And some of y'all, if you think back to what you used to be, what you used Marcus to do. Brian, two of the most blessed couples in here. But they could have heard a word from God when the bishop gave instruction. Presence, FaceTime, blessing, instruction. Instruction. And they could have said, later for this, we don't go. They still would have gave God face time because they would have fell for Shake your body down to the ground. Dum, 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 dum. One way or another, you are going to give God face time. And God still would have got the glory if you would have completely failed, if you would have died. If you get caught up in your own pride and you don't recognize you think you're better than somebody, how can you get closer to God and think you're better than somebody? I tell y'all all the time, I need God more than y'all. And y'all sit here and go, no, KT, I need God more than we'll just be going back and forth because I need God more than y'all. Period. Y'all see me now. Y'all ain't going to see me tonight. I see y'all now. She look good. She got her orange and everything. She matching up. But I ain't going to see her tonight. I'm not going to follow her. I'm not going to follow Essence. I'm not going to follow Mary. Mary and Queenie. Um, what's her name? Vicky. Great woman of God. Holding on with all, but I ain't going home with them. I got a taste of what they going through now. I don't know how they do it as long as they have. One of my customers that came in, um, related to Jason, Jason's son, and the grandmother came in to help him to get a truck and everything. And I said, what's your husband's, is your husband going? And she said, KT, don't you remember? I'm a widow. I went, oh, for five years. For five years. And I started praying for her. Because I can't imagine. I don't know how I done made it through except for FaceTime. Except for FaceTime. Mother doing the good and the bad. 60% of my FaceTime now is depression. And 40% is praise. And sometimes that fluctuates. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. But I can't be caught up. I know, Rico, I need God. I know. More than y'all. 
Keith warning you. I wish I had what you and Lisa got. Only in holiness, sweetheart, could I have had the relationship with somebody else like I did with Crystal. Only with the relationship with God. And she did too. She was amazing. When I would walk out of that door Saturday, I didn't have to have this on. She made me feel like Superman. Ooh, baby, you look good. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> she was amazing. We, we just, we complimented each other and did everything together and she, she loved better than I loved. God loved me through her. Only she could, only God could have loved me like that the way she did. The way she did. She'd be so sweet when she'd tell me to pick up my socks. <laughs> and we knew each other like nothing. When she would be mad, she'd start to sweat under, right under here. She'd be, I'd be like, uh-oh. Oh. Jesus. We would fall on our face together. Together. We would cry because neither of us had a house that was so peaceful. I remember one time we looked at each other and I went, you hear that? And she said, yeah. You know what we heard? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. It was <laughs> peaceful. We realized one day we was talking. We had we have four bathrooms. And we went, oh my God, Kenny. We went from the two in there, we got just, a, we were celebrating having four bathrooms. All right now. Four bathrooms. Mine's in the basement, hardly get used. <laughs> she gave me the basement. She gave, she just, she just gave it to me. What she was doing was so great that I decided to sacrifice Power Clutch Productions. I'm like, what she do? I just gotta support her. I got to. I ain't stupid. You talking about marrying the right kind of person? If you're it, then you're it. Kenny, then that, that was my support, period. But two weeks before she died, I remember her laying on the couch. And I said, baby, I think in about a year or two, I'm going to try to spend more time. I'm going to try to cut down, maybe even get a part-time job or something. But I'm going to try to start a radio station. And I'm going to fulfill my vow to God, chapter 3. I did 1 and 2, got to do chapter 3. She was half asleep, and it was like a light. And she smiled, baby, for real? And she got him, she said, and I'll help. And I went, oh, no, 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 baby, no, no. I didn't want her to mistake. It wasn't, no, 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 what you're doing is more important. But that's, oh, she was so. When I got my Malibu, y'all know I always got her a new car. Y'all remember that, Z? She was crazy about it. The bishop oh, yeah. helped her with that, and I paid for it. Oh, yeah. I paid for it. <laughs> and she had loved that car and everything. I had finally got my first car, new car after 59 years. I remember she came to Greg Young and she came around the car and said, baby, this is nice, don't it? She said, ooh, that's sweet, baby. Who car is that? I said, it's mine. <laughs> and she cried, Coco. She was so happy. She cried. Mary, some of y'all are going to have that. That's right. Karen, some of y'all, if you continue essence, if you continue to give God the right, we, I wanted to, and I'm still working on some things, but I wanted to give the kids the, the house. But they got, believe me, 
They got, they got the deal. Period. And if God has anything to say with anything, there's people I essence I want to bless. I want to, even when it comes to little things, like when my class had their little sheets, I told them, one time I'm going to have $100. I told them that I'm going to have $100 per sheet and everything. But I finally went and bought something because I, I want to do something. When I do they test, I don't let God bless me. Everybody be getting, girl, you know, you're going to be, ooh, sweet Jesus. Everybody ought to be praying, bless KT, bless KT, bless KT. I may as well bless y'all. My baby's gone. But FaceTime. FaceTime is the only thing, sweetheart, that gets me day to day to day. So what this dude end up doing? Go on, Mei Mei. The same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar. The same hour. Go ahead. And he was driven from men. Oh. And did eat grass as the oxen? He eating grass, y'all. Some of y'all was eating grass. Remember those brownies? Go ahead. <laughs> and his body was wet with the dew of heaven. Till his hairs were grown like eagles. His, he got hair all over the place. He looked like an eagle. And he eating grass. He ain't smoking grass. He eating grass. Go ahead. And his nails like bird's claws. Look at that. And I ain't talking about you women with them pretty nails with all the stuff. His nails was full of boo-boo. Mm -hmm. Full of boo-boo. Mm -hmm. All in the dung and stuff, eating whatever grass he can FaceTime. FaceTime. Go ahead. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar. Listen to this. Nebuchadnezzar, he's going to make it plain. Listen. Lifted up mine eyes unto heaven. Woo -wee. And mine understanding returned unto me. Oh, he done got some quick understanding, y'all. Go ahead. And I bless the Most High. Oh, look at this. Look at sevenfold starting to come out. Go ahead. And I praise. The Woo! Praise. Woo! Go ahead. Go ahead. And I honored him. Oh, gave him honor and glory. And that liveth forever. Oh. Whose dominion is an everlasting dominion. Oh, you everlasting, Lord. My man, he preaching, y'all. Go ahead. And they ain't preaching. And his kingdom is from generation oh. to generation. Oh, man. Is this the same Nebuchadnezzar? Is this the same Tracy? Jesus, hallelujah. Is this the same Coco that was in the accident? Is this the same Mozilla that goes through every day? Is this the same you? Go ahead, man. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. Ooh. And he doeth according to his will. Yes, he does. In the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay his hand or say unto him, What doest thou? At the same time, my reason returned unto me. Oh. And for the glory of my kingdom. Mine honor and brightness returned unto me, and my counselors and my lords sought unto me, and I was established in my kingdom, and excellent majesty was added unto me. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise oh. and extol Woo. and honor the King of heaven, Woo. all whose works are truth, and his ways, judgment, and those that walk in pride, he is able to abase. Oh my God. Thank you. Let's all go to the altar.